So uh, pursuant to Governor Baker's emergency order modifying the state's open meeting law issued on March 12, 2020, tonight's special school committee meeting of the Northampton School Committee will be held using remote participation. Um, may I ask the clerk to take a roll call, please? Member Voss. Yes, present. Member Gold. Present. Member Busanski. Present. We don't have Member Fallon. Uh, member Serafie Cox. Present. Mem we don't have Member Condon. Uh, member Levy. Present. Member Kaufman. Present. And Member Goldman. Present. Mr. Vice Chair, you have a quorum. <clears throat> uh, you're on mute. You're muted, Lonnie. Sorry, I thought you said something. Um, <laughs> tonight's meeting has one agenda item, um, and then we're going to vote to go into executive session. That one agenda item is to ratify hybrid our hybrid learning memo of un, memo of agreement with NACE. And I'll turn that over to Member Serafi Cox. Thank you. Um, so, uh, as uh, um, as we are moving into the hybrid model, um, it was necessary to do impact bargaining with the Northampton Association of School Employees. Uh, and uh, we came to a mutually agreed upon agreement uh, related to that. Um, this is the uh, document that was shared with you all previously. Um, and uh, was it contains um, things that were uh, tentatively agreed upon on um, November 23rd, 2020. Um, generally, what I would say is that we took the um, elements of the agreement that we made over the summer in order to restart school generally uh, under the remote uh, learning model. Um, we took elements of that that still made sense and carried them forward, um, as well as um, created um, uh, new um, agreements around um, the changes to working conditions relative to the transition to hybrid model. Um, we focused, I would say, on uh, the elementary school since they were the ones who were going to hybrid first. And uh, there is a provision in the agreement that there will be um, further agreements, um, further negotiations relative to secondary education forthcoming. So those started last night um, and, uh, and will continue. Um, and so this agreement uh, will likely have addendums related to secondary education. So that is, uh, is my presentation. Um, and I would, um, I would move to, uh, to ratify the modified memorandum of agreement by and between the Northampton Public School Schools and the Northampton Association of School Employees for the 2020-2021 school year period that was tentatively agreed upon on November 23rd, 2020. Thank you, is there a second? I'll second. Who was that? Member, uh, Dr. Voss? Was that you? Yes, thank you. Second. By member uh, Sarafi Cox, seconded by member Voss. Any uh, discussion? Member Go? Um, yeah, if, uh, if you all wouldn't mind indulging me, uh, just because I know we did tentatively agree upon this and um, and we know in many ways that it's going to be finalized here, but I do think as uh, someone who is going to, I think if I'm not mistaken, one of the only people who's going to be voting no tonight, I think it's important for any public, you know, because this is on the public record to share why I'm voting no. And so I have just a very brief statement that I'd like to read regarding that. Um, and so here we go. Um, all right, so I'd first like to say that I want to share my extreme gratitude uh, to NACE, the district's administration, and my school committee colleagues who have all collaborated wonderfully to put in 
and, and put in an immense amount of time and energy to get this very important work done and reaching an agreement on working conditions during this unprecedented time. As a member of the school committee's negotiation subcommittee, where member Seraphie Cox, member of Voss and I, spent on average four hours a night, four days a week for five weeks, working with the district leadership, NACE and the school committee on these negotiations, I can confidently say that we all approach these negotiations with a commitment to ensure that all details were deeply and thoughtfully considered to ensure Northampton's move to hybrid would occur in the safest way possible for our students and staff. While in many ways, I'm very, very proud of the result of all this work and the final MOA arrived at tonight, there are three specifics regarding this MOA that lead me to voting no tonight. Before very briefly describing these three specifics, I wanna reiterate that this MOA is a product of the school committee, NACES, and the district's administration's collaborative work, and that all three entities agree to the items within this MOA. The reason for my no vote are not based on any one of these three parties to this agreement. Um, and so now the, the first reason that I'm voting no, and one of the major reasons is in regards to, I hope I have the items right, um, it's the item on special education in the MOA, item number 10. Um, while, this item, while this MOA does not compromise any services that students can receive, um, having any language that does suggest possible time limits on services was very problematic to me. And so having that within there was not something that I could vote for. Um, the second reason I'm voting no is in regards to item eight on ventilation. We went a very long way as a school committee and district to ensure that safety measures were guided by science and expert advice. And in that time, we brought in multiple um, consultants. The metrics in item eight go beyond the recommendations of the consultants that we brought in. And so for those reasons, I also can't agree with um, that point in the MOA. Um, lastly, um, my no vote is also based on the process. I, while I again can't thank all the parties involved enough for their tireless work, this process of needing four hours a day, four days a week for five weeks is just untenable. And I really think that um, we need to figure out a way to develop, reform the process so that it is not requiring so much time um, from the school committee, from, uh, from NACE, and from the district away from what is most important, focusing on the work going on every day with our students. Um, again, I thank everyone for all their work and their time with this and just wanted to publicly share why it was that I was voting no tonight. Thank you, Member Gold. And um, are there any other members that wish to participate? I see no hands raised. Um, uh, Member Kaufman, I can't raise my hand because I'm a co-host. <laughs> okay, Member Serafie Cox. Yeah, I just wondered if uh, we might get um, a word from um, the district lawyer um, um, about the the legality of the dis of the document that we are um, that I motioned to approve. Leila, are you are you? Uh, yeah, sure? I'm unmuted. <laughs> I am unmuted. So um, it, it was a, a negotiated agreement uh, with NACE. Um, in my legal opinion, it was arrived at in good faith um, after um, exhaustive um, impact negotiations. Um, I think the process was legal. I think the terms under it are legal. Um, there is, I, I believe remaining in the agreement, uh, there is some savings language. So uh, one of the things that the, the district um, should know is that if there's a conflict, between, if, if there were ever found to be a conflict between the, um, the, the MOA and any other existing law, um, any, any law that takes precedent would control. And so, and so um, I, I think that was really critical language to, to, to get into that agreement um, in, in the event um, that there was ever a conflict down the road. Um, but um, after my review, I, I, I certainly, um, was I was there for I think almost all of those negotiations, um, and and this team uh, definitely did check uh, to make sure uh, that the MOA was was legally supported. Great, thank, thank you, you much for, for sharing that. that. Oh, sorry, that was my first bit. My second bit, um, I just um, wanted to express that um, I. Um, 
I know that uh, staff turnover has been um, of concern um, in, in schools across the nation. And uh, I guess I just want to put it out there that um, I hope that the district uses uh, the um, excellent ventilation that we have put into place as a, uh, as a perk, a benefit of working for the Northampton Public Schools. Because um, as the school committee, uh, we are the employer of record for uh, school employees and, um, and uh, we have, uh, have done some really important work to make sure that our school employees are in safe working conditions. Um, uh, honestly, work that I'm not sure other school districts have done. So, um, so I hope that uh, that, that can be uh, seen by potential employees to our district as uh, as an added benefit of working for this district. Okay. Um, seeing no other hands up, I would ask the clerk to take a um, roll call vote. Um, roll call on this vote, please. Member Gold. No. Member Busanski. Yes. Member Fallon. Yes. Member Seraphie Cox. Yes. Member Levy. Yes. Member Kaufman. Yes. Member Goldman. Yes. And Member Voss. Yes. The vote is seven in favor, when against. Okay, thank you, um, everybody. We have, um, like I said, one item on our public agenda and that was it. So um, we are now um, I'm opening, uh, I guess I'm opening the um, request Motion. for somebody to make a, a request Motion. to enter executive session. Motion to move to executive session. Um, tender executive session under Massachusetts general law open meeting chapter 30a section 21 a2 and a3 to discuss strategy and preparation for collective bargaining and to conduct collective bargaining if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigating position of the public body and the chair so declares is there a second 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 thank you uh, Member Buzanski, and one more time, I'm sorry, uh, Annie, can you take a vote, please? Member Busanski. Yes. Member Fallon. Yes. Member Seraphie Cox. Yes. Member Levy. Yes. Member Kaufman. Yes. Member Goldman. Yes. Member Voss. Yes. And Member Gold. Yes. The vote is eight in favor.